Okay, so if you saw the crate calming video, we're gonna do the same thing with the place command, okay? Um, so if you've got something that comes up, it could be anything where your dog gets riled up, you can use this for excitement, anxiety, fear, aggression, it doesn't matter, yeah. It all works the same way. What's different is your energy, your body language, maybe the tools you're using, um, something like that. But in this case, there's nothing around that's scaring her. Um, she's got some typical jittery puppy excitement along with some fear issues. So we're just using a slip leash on her and I'm just gonna show you the, the boring patterning, just like in the, in the crate video. So if you didn't catch the crate video, watch that first. It just has more explanation into why we do this. Um, I love the place command <laughs> for, a, for the big reason that it teaches your dog to be able to stay in one spot, a very structured, clear place that they need to be and learn how to just watch the world go by and not have to react every second. It teach them, teaches them how to control their impulses, how to be calm, um, how to uh, be able to cope with things that stress them out or make them react or in her case, flee. Um, uh, so it, it's a huge confidence building uh, mat for that as well. These are great to travel with. Um, if you have the type of dog that you wanna travel with, but maybe he won't stay, maybe he's too excited, maybe he's too reactive, that's, you need one of these. That's when you need um, a place mat. Yes, okay. So this video is just showing the patterning technique. If you need to teach your dog the command place, then you need to check out this video right here. Um, if for some reason a link doesn't come up if you're on a mobile phone, the link will be down below in the information section. And, uh, and then of course, watch the rest of the video so it'll give you some insight into what you're in for. Place, sit, good, down. Good. Break. Place. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Break. So you repeat that pattern over and over. It might be 10 times, might be 20 times before your dog settles down. Um, or, or if you're getting ready, yes, if you're getting ready to do a duration place and it's with a dog that's not used to it, you're still teaching them, like let's say you want your dog to try to, you know, lay down for 15 minutes on the mat, um, you know, while you do something else. Oh, good girl. Um, do this first because it bores them to death. It bores them so much that they'll start to resist doing it. Uh, just because it's the same thing over and over again. So something to keep in mind is uh, sometimes you might do this so many times, like before you're about to do duration work and you want your dog to be really tired of it and you want them to just want to lay on the mat because they're so bored of, of doing the patterning that, uh, that they might resist you, but you have to push through it. It's actually a great leadership opportunity. You know, the child doesn't want to do something. He doesn't want to take out the trash. You know, how are you going to handle it kind of thing. It's the same thing. It's just, you know, dogs acting out. They get sick of doing something. You can be a little bit more motivational, you know, come on, let's go. Or, or um, you know, just be a little bit more excited if you need to do something to, to motivate them to finish out, you know, <laughs> what you're doing. It's not that you can't change your energy, but you do want to finish the process you planned on doing. In fact, if my dog started resisting me, I would even do a couple more, even if I planned on finishing, just to make sure we were smooth and it was very clear <laughs> that just because they want to stop doesn't mean that we stop. Um, all right. Place. Sit. Good. Down. Good. Now, um, once you've done this for a little while, you can, and the dog starts to settle down from whatever it is that got him upset, that's when you can start to add some distance, and and uh, that will test them out to see if they really are settled, if you're able to, you know, give some distance and they don't just pop off the mat. Um, that'll really tell you if they're settled or not. If it's something where they might be nervous and shaking, um, and you know, you've done it 20 times and they have calmed down a little, just leave them be. 
just let them be in duration place and let them chill out and just keep an eye on them because they, they shouldn't get up. Um, but, uh, but definitely do this process. Something else you guys can keep in mind is that um, eventually you should just say place and the dog lays down and stays there with no verbal prompting. Place means lay down and stay until you're, you hear your release word. It's like an all-encompassing command. She hasn't gotten quite that far yet. We still have to do sit and down uh, most of the time, but eventually that's what it's gonna mean. Now, again, I know I'm working with a calm dog and it's very different with an excited dog. I've got lots of videos on how to train this command. Um, this was just a little tidbit on ways that you can pattern the behavior to actually calm a dog down because something has riled them up. Could be because the mailman came, it could, it could be anything, but, uh, but just something to keep in mind. Um, I've literally worked with my own dogs on fear issues before. Uh, when she was really little, we would go to a restaurant and some noise, you know, crashing plates would excite her. And I, I would literally take her to the side with her little mat and just do some repetition for three, four, five minutes until she calmed down. Um, maybe I'm a little overzealous, but I mean, it didn't take long before she's completely off leash, laying down. She can be anywhere, do anything. It's about, you know, taking the time and, and really addressing those, those little moments because that's, that's what really counts. So as much as you can organically, when things happen throughout the day, random noises, things that scare your dog, or make them react negatively, or make them overexcited, um, that's what you wanna do. Even if maybe you're dealing with overexcitement issues, and the husband or the wife comes home from work, and the dog loses their mind, even when you're dealing with things like that, the other person can work on this patterning behavior until the dog settles, then the dog has to stay in place until they're completely calm. Then they can greet <laughs> the person that came in maybe a half an hour ago, who knows. So lots of ideas for you guys there. All right. It's important to practice these behaviors first with uh, no distractions before trying to apply them to a situation. Any questions, just send me an email at info at doggersizela.com. Definitely subscribe. Check out my channel. I got several playlists on how to train all of these commands and more, working with uh, dogs as well as dogs with uh, some pretty intense issues. So check out our page.